co-creators. This is Mark Cosby. You are living in the law of attraction. Mark Cosby. Hey, Mark Cosby. You are in the house. Yes, sir. Finally. Finally. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's a great day, man. It's a great day to be here. It's a great day. Um, it's just a, it's been a long time coming. Like I put out a post last night to the group, and I just said this has been a long time coming. And, you know, it's funny that there's a saying that we use in the, in the public speaking and the motivational speaking realm is that when opportunity meets with preparation, the end result is success. Right. And when, you know, I first heard about you uh, via the professor, I was like, and then they invited me to be on their show. And when I, when I got here, it was just, it was just a no-brainer. I was like, this is it. This is where I need to be. Good, this is, this good, is good, good. Yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. And, you know, and like I said, I did all the legwork previous, you know, and then it happens. You show up, and it's, it's like preparation, opportunity, and success is what we're looking for, brother. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Good. 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 Well, um, tell me about the law of attraction. What is that all about? All right. The law of attraction, simply put, it's a, it's a new age thought process that um, it was started way back, I mean, in the 30s. As, as practitioners of it, um, dating back to the 30s, um, some guys like Neville Goddard, um, guys like um, um, uh, Jim Rohn, guys of that nature. Uh, also, uh, Napoleon Hill is another one. He's a huge proponent of it. And the list goes Sorry. on and on. It's fine. The list goes on and on. And so what their thought process is, is and it's called a new age thought, is that whatever you focus on, that you desire to have in your life, right. you first focus on it, and then in the short term or the long term, it manifests in your reality. You're able mm -hmm. to drive it, you're able to touch it, you're able to feel it, you're able to you know, the tactile sensation, you're able to have all those experiences, you're able to swim in it, and you, you know, you're able to walk through the doors of it. Right, know? right, right. So it's, it's basically one of those things that if you focus on that, um, it, it will come to pass. Because not necessarily come to pass like boom, there it is, but it, you, you'll be put in positions that people along the way on this journey is going to help you get there. Right. You know, that's what a lot of people get it kind of uh, misconstrued and get mis misconceived about it, you know, but it just puts you in line with things and things just happen that you can explain. Yeah. You see, not, not the, the ordinary person is who, who, who's, who's not well read. I'm not going to pick on any particular person, but who's not well read and who's not open right. to receive these things and understand the stuff is not going to believe it. Well, you know what? One of the things that my father uh, taught me was, uh, his old adage, which is, the more senses through which a thing is perceived, the more indelibly it becomes imprinted upon the mind. And so that's that's a that's the one of the bases that that my company, Intercultural Communications, is based on. Yes, uh, you'll see that in our mission statement. Uh, so, so, so when you when you can uh, touch all the senses, you're more likely to remember it. Uh, it's it's more likely to become a part of you. Yes, uh, and, and so you know. That's uh, that's just one of many uh, ways that you can attract success mm -hmm. to yourself. Exactly, that's it. And sound like your your father was definitely a man of that fabric. Absolutely. And, yeah. So and and it's one of those things that um, you know. It, it's also another thing you're going to discover on, on, on people you're going to discover on this journey is the more you read, uh, the more things are going to be revealed to you. See, and it's all about it's all about getting your head in books. It's all about getting away from that flat screen or that television, you know, put all that stuff aside because, see, you're watching people, and I'm going to talk about this too later in the show, you're watching people that use the very same thing that you're learning about now to get to where they are, now you're watching them on television. You know, I, I, I got another one that my dad used to always tell me. Uh, reading maketh a fool man. Yeah. Writing maketh an exact man. Uh, I, th I think it's a conversation maketh a ready man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, and somebody said, I don't know who it was. Uh, somebody said it. So but it was profound. Yes, it was profound, and, and it's true. And, and you brought you brought up a great point. You know, the the more senses you can add to a, a situation or a desire or an object, the more likely it's going to be coming to your life. Because you remember as a kid, um, and Esteban, you you can probably hear you know, attest this too. When you was a kid, and even you, when you saw something, that red bike, those pair of sneakers, that shirt, that hat. 
when you were young, you didn't have the money at the yeah. time to afford it. You were your mom, you know, mom and dad, and you had granddad, <laughs> uncle, your favorite uncle, everybody, your favorite auntie, they had the money. So you bugged, you yeah. nagged, you, yeah. man, that's all you could think about was that yeah. red bike. That's all you could think about those shoes until it came into your life. See, that's the that's the part of um, this, this, this law of attraction that people, they overlook it. See, they make it so, we humans have a tendency of making things so complex. Yeah. It is really simple. It is simple. <laughs> it's so simple. You thought about that object, and you, you talked to people about it until it showed up in your life. True. That's the perfect example of the law of attraction that people use when they were younger, mm -hmm. but they they tend to back away from stuff like, well, you know, I don't really understand that. I don't, I, you know, I can't see it, so therefore I can't get into it. See, we're, we're humans, we're tactile. We need to see, touch, and feel things in order to right. believe it. See, you said it perfect, the five senses. We use those sight, smell, sound, touch, feel here all, all mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. But see, you got to develop, when you're on this journey, you're going to develop other senses. The sixth one for sure. Oh, the sixth one for sure, brother. We're going to talk about those two. We're going to talk about chakras. You know, so on this 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 show, and, and again, I want to thank you know, Intercultural Communications and and uh, In Touch News for, for seeing the, the, the promise and seeing the, oh, the, man, yeah. the, 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 the positive benefits of this and having me on. Well, well, me on in, in well here's what you have to realize. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I was attracting a show like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. Oh man! Because let me tell you, look, look. When you so you mentioned uh, early on, you said uh, never got it. Yes. So nobody knows who never got it. A whole lot of people don't know who he is. Um, we're talking black and white. Yes. We're talking when when they were barely recording yes. things. Yes. So yes. Uh, to, to to listen to his audio wow. is just like wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's myriad of them. It's myriad I, of them. I, Women too. I mean, there's uh, Catherine Ponders. Another a lot of people don't know about. Uh, uh, what's her name? Um, the, the the husband and wife. Uh, the name forgets me right now, but it's a male and a female. Uh, Esther Esther. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. 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 Uh, Esther uh, Hicks. Esther Hicks. Esther Hicks. Yeah yeah yeah. Doctor Dwight. As a matter of fact, let's go into that right now. This is a perfect segue. Okay. Let's talk about some of the list of the current artists and current uh, uh, movie stars and superstars that are actually using the law of attraction and have used the law of attraction to get where they are now and, okay. and to become even greater. See, you know, we, we develop in, in these senses, like you said, you know, your intuition, things like that, that's going to become more keen. You're going to be able to spot through what's real. You're going to be able to, you're going to, basically the veil of what's going on around you is going to be pulled back and you're going to see everything for what it's worth and what is real. Right. Because it only boils, down, all of this we're dealing with only boils down to three things. What are uh, they? They're all love. Love, energy, energy, and water. And water. Everything you mm. look, look around you, everything ever created, everything you know about was created with using those three elements. Love, love energy, energy, and water. water. Energy is, is, is a, is a uh, love is of energy. Water is definitely an energy, and it's, it's a life-giving energy, and it also takes, you know, it, it also takes life away as well because it's, it's the most powerful force on the planet. Our body is comprised 70% of it. So, so we can, we're going to get really deep in here. We're going to talk okay. about that. So, so let's look. Let's look, go over the list of some of the, of the um, actors and athletes who use the law of attraction in okay. life. Kerry uh, Walsh and Misty May Trainer, they were the two beach volleyball um, Olympians yeah, that yeah. dominated, dominated back beach in the day. back in the day. Yeah, yeah two two tall girls, oh, yeah, yeah, amazing, right? Mm -hmm. And one of them, Kerry uh, Walsh, I just discovered when I was doing my research, she was what a month pregnant or in the first trimester of pregnancy during that last olympic and uh, and, and that's amazing so yes. they are users of it the practitioners of it uh, of course denzel washington denzel washington is a huge huge practitioner of the law of attraction wow okay yeah. what was one of his uh if, if you know what was one of his uh what was one of the things that he's that he's uh, he's talked about uh, or if he has talked mm -hmm. about he that he used the law of attraction on well, in that, mo that role for uh, Malcolm X, okay, he said that he used to meditate every day before he uh, started reading the script. And they were saying even during shooting of the movie uh -huh. that he would be so caught up in the lines that he would, if they say cut, he would continue to go he, with, with, the, with the, the, uh, the character and the role. He, and the you know what? <clears throat> when I heard that he uh, was going to play Malcolm X, yeah. I was like, man, he's not the right one. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm yeah. thinking Lawrence Fishburne. Right, right. You know, right, uh, right, I, right. I, I was like, come on. I, I said they picked they picked uh, Denzel because you know he was probably one of the more uh, prominent uh, uh, actors at the time. Right, right. But man, he yeah. was phenomenal. Phenomenal, incredible. 
Jeez. You know, and in that year, I think he he won, he lost. Uh, he was in the running for the Oscar. And I think uh, what's the one with the, the the Gladiator one? The, oh yeah, yeah Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe one. Yeah, yeah, Another yeah. good actor. You know. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. all about I'm all about arts and all that right, stuff. Right, right, right. E- even though I thought he should have won. He should exactly, uh, exactly. You know, yeah. training, training, training <laughs> day was you know. <laughs> that was out okay. there, wasn't it? That was out yeah, there. Yeah, it was way yeah. out there. You know, any any of us can do that. Right, I, I, right. That's what I think. Right, you know, right. We can all play a bad that, guy. A bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But hey. Yep. Okay, so that's it. Denzel Washington, Will Smith. Will Will Smith is good. Yes, yeah, he's good. He's also a practitioner of it. But uh, but but now, when did when did Will come on board with that? Will came on board with it. I want to say around uh, the mid two thousands, something like that. Okay. Uh, because he 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 even you can just see it. In the, I mean, he's using it before that, obviously, because he's a successful uh, rapper DJ. You know, true, in West true. Philadelphia. You know, so. Um, and I know people from West Philadelphia, and you know, they know the guy and things like that. But yeah, it, it, so he was already he was. You know what they talk about destiny? It also talks about destiny in this this law of attraction thing. Okay. But, but it's like when you when you meet up with it, when everything meets up, when everything lines up, everything's happening in divine time and order. Right. That's when it's going to be the moment for you, the time for you. So a lot of people don't have time to push it, try to rush along, kind of do this. You can't do that because when you're pushing and rushing it, you come from a, a mental standpoint of need. Uh, or, or I gotta have it. No, just relax, and it's gonna come to you. Just, you you, you sounding like Esther Hicks right now. <laughs> <laughs> but what's what's her what's her name out there? Didn't it start with an A. Or Abraham. A- Abraham. Yeah, Abraham. Abraham. Now see, Esther right. Hicks and her husband. They, they, uh, she has. Um, uh, um, we're gonna say uh, I guess another, not soul, but another personality or whatever that she right. can channel. And see, that's another thing. See, man, we are so powerful, man. These, this organic brain of ours and this, this subconscious mind of ours is so powerful. People do not give up ourselves enough credit. We ourselves don't give us, as humans, we don't give ourselves enough credit on some of the great things we can do. Right. Look at all the great things we've done. True. Look how far we come from a car to flight. From, from, from a horse, I'm sorry, from a horse to flight. Now, from, from, from a, a, a rotary phone rotary to phone a cell phone. phone. To a cell phone. The most powerful computer you ever walk around in a Candy Crush is was the main thing that you use it for. I know, I know. <laughs> you got a powerful computer in your hand. You have knowledge in your hand. And I heard someone say, "Well, well you, you know, you didn't send me the address to this place." There's no excuse. This, it's right here on your there phone. There it is. Yeah, it's you, right there on your phone. Yeah, yeah right, it. right. I'm right, intuitive. There's another thing. You hear everything too, brother. You intuitive know, become. It's just amazing. And people, on this journey, you're going to realize that you can be the best version that you can become in anything you want. Don't ever let anyone tell you you cannot do something. Don't ever listen to anyone who have failed in the past. That was their story. Your mm-hmm. story is totally different. You know, let today be the first day of your new chapter, of your new life. Let the day be the beginning for that. Don't ever listen to anyone. Okay, so getting back to the list, you got uh, Idris Elba, the British dude. And right, right, He's, right, he's right. also a practitioner. Arnold, the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. He's, he's into it. Jim Carrey. Jim, you remember Jim Carrey from back in the day, from In Living Color and all that? Yeah, yes. And, and now of, of Pet, it was a uh, Pet Detective and all that stuff, that crazy movie. Right. Just um, you know, all those movies. He he wrote a uh, trick to himself. You you know, I, I've I, I've seen his name a few mm-hmm. times, but I haven't followed his story on how that came about. Do check you know anything check about it? Out. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. He wrote a check. To the universe. That's right. That's what it was. He wrote it, a, yeah, he wrote a check to the universe for like twenty or thirty million dollars for acting services rendered. Yeah. And the dude, I mean, when I first saw the guy, I'm like, this guy's funny. I mean, on, on, you know, in Living Color with the Wayans brothers. Right, right. And this guy's, I mean, every time he, had him, I was cracked up. So, you know, Fire Marshal Bill and all mm-hmm. that. You know, an amazing, amazing actor. On, on top of that, um, Conor McGregor, the guy who just the fighter. Uh, yep, the fighter. Really? The fighter. The fighter, not only him, the other new, the new heavyweight champion, uh, the uh, the brother, uh, what's the tall brother name? Um, can't remember his name right now. It gum to me when he. Uh, I, I I hadn't been following uh, yeah, boxing, but yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's another the new, the newest uh, six six tall. I mean, amazing athlete. Six six six. Yeah, he Jeez. he's he's also a follower. Uh, Lady Gaga, Pitbull. Okay. Okay. Oh, of course, Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, the music in the ears is like, hey, we got to pay some bills. We got to pay some bills. All right. So you have with you today uh, the, the, the the star of Law of Attraction, Mark Cosby. This is his 
debut uh, um, a show. It's called Law of Attraction with Mark Cosby. If you want to call in, the number is 813-444-9588. That number is 813-444-9588. You're right here on In Touch Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone is a star, and we will be right back with the Law of Attraction. car crash call ricky don't know what to do ask ricky we will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries call ricky at 844-361-7425 after an auto accident you have 14 days to seek medical attention you may be in pain so call ricky ask ricky for your best options 844-361-7425 call ricky ask ricky is a legal and medical referral service the lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals Hi, I'm Donald L. Dowers Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. One darn second. America since 2017 is suffering from a serious hiccup. 9-11 is seriously overused in a distasteful manner. Every day the cops are calling on an innocent, innocent person of color. It amazes me that America has come down to this. A person of color becomes a person of interest. Waffle House, the dorm, Starbucks is a few. This is not the lunch counters, sit-ins of the 1960s. 2019, harassed simply for being black and proud. Hold on one darn second. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. Pre-order my new book, Motivational Moment, at DLD28-2002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. with Mark Kosky. So at the uh, end of the break, we were talking about stars and athletes that follow the law of attraction, and we were going over the list, and a lot of people were, um, I mean, a lot of these people here you know and you heard of, and, and some of the people you may not have heard of. So, Mark. Yes, sir. Before you start getting back into that list. Yes, sir. I, you know, in your opening, I heard you say co-creators. Yes, yes. Tell me, where did you get that from? Co-creators, you know, like I said, when, you, when you're on this journey, you're gonna be, you're gonna do a lot of reading. You're gonna do a lot of reading about professional development. Um, you're gonna do a lot of reading on uh, different things associated with the law of attraction. So I was reading a, a book, and it was, it was uh, called, um, it was by Joel Osteen. That's another guy. I mean, people say he's not a good, you know, he's a motivational speaker. Call it what you want, yeah. but the message he puts out is nice. And it you is. Know, and, and you, know, you, you have to look past the media. You have to look past the amount of what he has. Don't worry about that. You know, that's that's his life. Don't yeah. worry about that. Focus on your own self. See, if a lot of people focus more on themselves and try to build themselves up on the inside out, we wouldn't have a lot of crap that's going on right now. Mm-hmm. You know, and people would be a lot better people better off. So I was reading his book, and it, you know, he talked about being a co-creator and the fact that you know you are a co-creator because you are made. He, you are made from God. You know, right. We are all made from God. We are all. It's another thing people don't believe. People don't believe that they're made from God. You know, it's, it's you said in, in the Bible it says you you were made into God's own image. Mm-hmm. So what does that mean? That you means you got. Yeah. That means that I can create. Absolutely. I can I can manifest things. You know, not to the scale that, that he, Jesus and God were able to do it, but over time you can do it. See, we have like I said, see, they have the infinite mind and source or God, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people are comfortable with whatever title they want to use, and I'm mm-hmm. okay with that too mm-hmm. because I know I know what I believe in. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I, this I just I didn't just happen on this earth. You know? Right. Everything is preordained. I was I'm here for a reason and I'm here for a purpose. So that's what the group, uh, Carbon Fiber Mindset Group, that's what I try to do is help people find their purpose. We, we, we try to, we instill, we don't try, we do. We instill a lot of What's the name energy. of the group again? Carbon Fiber Mindset Group. Carbon Fiber Mindset. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we'll talk about the reason why I chose that name as well. So, so people just need to know there's a lot of people out here, uh, Daryl, that need, needs um, – uh, positive motivation. They need coaching. They need. They don't even know they need it. That's the sad thing about mm-hmm. it. So you know, if you, if you you're a co-creator, if you if you know that you're made in the image of God, mm-hmm. that means you're a co-creator. You can co-create your existence. You can co-create existence for other people. You can help them 
develop the ways to co-create co as well and, and create their own existence, you know, uh, their own way of life and things like that. It's, it, there's no reason why anyone should want for anything nowadays. You know, we just talked about it on the break. You know, you have a, a, a phone in your hand that you can that will allow you to learn anything you want to pursue. Right. You know, coding, another language, uh, how to draw, how to how to take cars apart, how to build cars, how to build, how to do all those things, how to mm -hmm. draft, how to do anything you want. It's at the palm. It's in the palm of your hand. It is. You know, you can get anywhere you want to in these phones. You know, a lot of people use, like I said, use the Candy Crush and other stuff like that. You know, you underutilizing this powerful machine. Well, I, I got to tell you, I love free sale. <laughs> free sale, man. <laughs> you know, I, I'm at, I'm at like uh, six hundred thousand. <laughs> 223. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's a, that's a break. But see, you, you're already you're established. You're a professional. You, you've done all the work necessary work to get to where you are now. So you can yeah. relax. Yeah, you yeah, earned yeah. it. You know what I mean? But for some kid who's coming up, some young person who's coming up saying, oh, I don't have any money, this or any other. Well, learn how to make your phone. Learn how to make your phone make money for you. Wow. Yeah. That's okay. A, that's another, one, another source of income. So, yeah. Um, so, therefore, you, we're all co-creators in this thing. Okay. Co-creating your life because all the necessary hard work has been done for you. You know, God has provided oxygen for you to breathe. He's provided water. He's provided this beautiful planet to live on that people disregard totally. Mm. It's going to be here forever. Well, you know, it can be, but at the rate we're going, it's not. You know, it's just the reality of it. Yeah. These, these people talking about global warming is not real. And, you know, on my page and on this show, I'm not going to push a political agenda. Mm -hmm. This is just going to be all professional development and working on yourself from the inside out yes. to become the best version you can be. See, everyone can make themselves look good and look uh, appealing on the outside. Right. But behind that facade, behind that veil, you're torn apart. You, you, you lack self-esteem. You, you don't have confidence. You, you, you believe everything everybody say about mm -hmm. you. you. You listen to everything. You know, first of all, when you're on this journey, you're going to push all that's going to be pushed back. You push, it's not even going to get near you. You, you. Before it even, like I said, you're gonna, your intu intuition and your intuitive ability is going to become so keen and so strong, man, that you're going to be able to spot it 100 miles away. Wow. You know, a lot of people don't real know this about me, but I was also a Navy veteran. United States Navy. You know this about me because well, and and thank you for your service. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You know, um, and and we. I mean, and that that allowed me to travel all around this, this amazing planet. Wow. You know, and so that's I'm bringing that to the table. You know, I'm also uh, a company communicator, Toastmaster as well. Okay. Um, okay. Need to get back with the uh, professor to get my DTM, my <laughs> distinguished Toastmaster. You know, we've been talking about that at home for the long. My wife's like, "Well, what are you waiting for?" And I'm like. You know, so she's lighting the fire in my butt. So I need okay. to make that happen and get okay. that. And you know, there's a lot of things I'm um, bringing to the table with this and, and with this law of attraction and things like that. Let people know, you know, it's cool to be, you, you know, it doesn't matter about color, right. your race or whatever, man. This is something that everyone can use. And Reverend Ike is another one. Reverend Ike, man. Reverend, Reverend Ike. Ike. Reverend Ike. Let, let me, let me let's, <laughs> please. Here's my story with Reverend Ike. <laughs> I don't know how I stumbled on Apple on my phone. Yeah, yeah. I stumbled on Reverend Ike. Yep. And I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. Let me listen to Reverend Ike. Yeah. And so I listened to one of his sermons, and I was like, man, you hear what Reverend Ike said? So I, I listened to a couple of other of his sermons. I was like, man, Reverend Ike was really ahead of his time. Oh, my God, light years. I mean, I'm like, mm -hmm. and then he mentioned in one of his sermons Neville Goddard's yep. name. Yep, yep. That's how I stumbled upon yep. Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard, yep. Thanks to Reverend Ike. Yep. Yep. And when I hit Rev, uh, Neville Goddard, it was just like, oh man, I, I think I might listen to like 20, 30 years. I was just, yeah. I was just stuck on yeah, him. Yeah, you benched, you I was benching. Yeah, yeah, you was benching. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, I was like, wow. Now, now you know, I, I can tell you this. Neville Goddard at the time was, uh, I, <laughs> I hate to say it, but he, he was, he was, he had, he had kind of a Trump mentality because he, his his law of attraction was really more for white men mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and and i caught it in one of his uh one of his his uh sermons one of his speeches one right. of his talks right and, and you know he used the n-word back then mm -hmm. and a lot of people probably haven't even heard that sermon right, right but it let me know wow but but i got way beyond that because yeah. it, it, it's it you know it's not for me I wasn't trying to. I wasn't getting anything negative from it. Right. I'm getting all that positiveness that that right. the right. law of attraction right. has, and what I could get from yeah. it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But 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 it, it it just it was like wow. Yeah. 
even back then, back uh, it, we 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 had our own issues. They weren't really. He didn't really want to share that with mm -hmm. anybody, anybody else. Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay. We got it. Because you see, here's the thing, and you said it yourself. You said you don't know how you got there. You were led there by your subconscious. You see, the subconscious knows exactly what it needs for you to be successful. That's why it takes care of you. Think about how how, how incredible your subconscious in your body is. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna talk about on on, on this. On this show, ladies and gentlemen, co-creators, we're going to talk about myriad of things. We're going to cover health. We're going to cover yeah. finance. We're going to cover everything. This is the law of attraction, yeah. 2.0. Okay, this is the this is this is the new the new jack okay. law of attraction. This is the the, the post-industrial law of attraction. See, those people we talked mentioned earlier never got on all those guys, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Napoleon Hill. Those are those are industrial. Uh, of uh, era, yeah. Law of attraction. This is postmodern. This is we, we're talking about everything on the show. Right. How to extend your life. How to how to what to eat. What to put in your body. The ten things you should put in your body every single day. You're awake. You know things like that. Wow. So um, well, so we were talking about the the um, the uh, never got and not being able and how you discovered that mm -hmm. and, and Reverend Ike. Mm -hmm. You know, y you were led to it. You know, your your body. Think about your body eats food. You you have a plate of food in front of you, salad, uh, meat. Uh, uh, bread or whatever, your body, once you take that into your body and ingest that, your body knows exactly what to put each of those components to feed each cell in your body. Wow. Pla the greens go a certain place. Mm -hmm. It breaks it down and goes to a certain part of the body. Mm -hmm. The protein from the meat, the chicken goes to a certain part for the muscles. You know, things go to to, to, re, to re, uh, re, redo, repair, I'm sorry, your your uh, the, the sheath around your nervous system, things like that. We're going to get so deep on the show, we're going to talk about anatomy and physiology. It's going to be mind-blowing. Yeah. And I hope you guys are ready because you're going to learn a lot, okay? <laughs> learn a lot. Get ready. Then get ready. Fasten your seatbelt. You remember the first time you were rolling, the fastest car you were rolling? Remember, recall that memory. You put that seatbelt on, that person hit the gas, that jolt you got? Right. That's what that's what the people are going to get on the show. And I hope, <laughs> okay. that, I hope okay. they're ready. I hope they're ready. Okay. So Reverend Ike, I mentioned Reverend Ike. And he talked about, you know, like you said, uh, never got it, only attended to this to, for certain people. Mm -hmm. But you can't contain something like this. This stuff cannot be contained because it's, it's an it's a, it's a energy. It is. And so Reverend Ike always, always says, you can't use with the stuff I lose. <laughs> oh, yeah, he <laughs> should. He's right. <laughs> you cannot, that's what I'm saying. So it's for everybody. And everybody that apply these principles will be successful. Right. You be successful, you know, and, and people just got to realize that you cannot fail. Launch that business. I put out a post last night on Facebook in the group. Launch that podcast. Write that book. Launch that business. Get that idea out there because people need what you have to offer. People don't know they need it. That's mm. the thing. You know you have a talent. If you have a talent and, and, and you need to get it out there to people, you know, everyone's on a journey to find out what their purpose is. You know, So true. So true. It and should be anyway. It should be, yeah. And it's a never-ending journey. Once you think, oh, I made it. No, you, you never make it. You never make. You just get better and better and better. See, and that's right. the whole thing about it. You know, you we talked about the five senses and how people, and, and I talked about how people are tactile and they like to be able to touch, see, and feel things. Well, you got to learn how on this journey to to see things that you cannot see. Mm. Gravity, for example. Okay. You know it works, right? If you step off a ten-story building, what's going to happen? That gravity's going to take over. You're going to hit the ground. It's going to be oh, the end of the end of the road for you. Mm -hmm. Electricity. You can't see it physically, but it's, it's powering these lights. Right, you know I mean? right, right. Yeah, you right. can see lightning bolts. Yeah, there's electricity, but that's that's not helping us with these lights. See, mm -hmm. that's, that's that's not knocking lights and power out. You know, but you, you can't you, see oxygen. You either. can't see oxygen. There you go, perfect, brother. You can't see oxygen. You can't see the wind, but you can see the effects of the wind. Mm -hmm. You can see the effects of the wind on the on the ocean and tides. You know what I mean? So people need to start developing those senses to believe in things that they cannot see. Believe in the unseen. You have to learn. You have to on this. It's crucial on this journey that. Um, you have to learn how to see things that are unseen. Okay. Okay. So and now you, you, you had a couple other people that you didn't mention. Yeah. Uh, Oprah Winfrey. Huge. Oprah Winfrey. Every, and everyone knows her. So I'm, I'm, I'm listing the household names as well as the names that people really don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, the Pitbull. Pitbull does, is doing major things down in Miami with uh, the Law of Attraction. He's mm -hmm. got, he's got a, uh, I, don't know, I think it's a sports academy or something down there. It's wow. called Slam, something like that. Okay. And he triples, he, you know, his thing, this guy, this guy is awesome. He, he, when he goes on tour, see, he doesn't he doesn't make his albums when he's in Miami, home base in Miami. When he's on tour is when he writes his albums. Really? Yes. I said he he's like he when he writes his tracks, he said that's the best time to do it because you know back home in the studio, everybody's talking about the houses, the cars, and the trips and all that stuff that mm -hmm. the Yahtzee just bought. He said, but when you're on the road performing and you're in a hotel right room by yourself, and right. you know or not room for him, a hotel suite, a whole, yeah, a whole yeah, floor yeah, probably. Yeah. You, they said he can bang out at least four albums. That's I when mean, his four, energy four starts That's to flow. Then, yeah, then wow. he starts with the creative energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he can knock out four tracks a night 
in the, in the hotel room in the, in the suite while he's, he's see waiting. and 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 once you start shows. to once you start to well once we start to get into something good the commercial break always jumps in doesn't it <laughs> well listening you're listening to uh the law of attraction with mark cosby I'm Daryl Johnson, better known as DJ CEO, and we are going to take us a break. If you want to call in, the number is 813-444-9588. You're listening to In Touch Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone is a star. We'll be right back. a place that we like to call The Way, where we're educating today's youthpreneurs to be tomorrow's billionaires through social entrepreneurship. Do you have a student who's bored, frustrated, gifted, inquisitive, creative, business-minded? Then maybe you need to check The Way out. Listen, we have an educational platform that allows for individualized instruction. It's strength-based, project-based, and designed to help your students become the absolute best they can while starting their own business and being an entrepreneur. If you're looking for something different and you need to find a more excellent way, then you need to visit us at The Way. That's The Way, www.thewaetampa.org. Or you can call us at 813-603-7923. We look forward to showing your students a more excellent way at The Way. Hey, this is A.J. Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some. And get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, co-creators. You are here with Mark Cosby and Daryl Johnson, CEO, living the law of attraction with Mark Cosby. All right, so we left uh, at our second break, and we, we left off talking about um, the rapper, now CEO, successful CEO, Pitbull, um, the guy that's out of Miami. So, And I think you had a question you want to ask me about him. Um, if not, um, you know. Uh, oh, uh, 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 okay. See, that's why sometimes we're doing the break. I, was, I need to just <laughs> stop talking, know. you know, because now it's it, it's it's fleeting. It's fleeting. Okay, it's gold, we, we, we get back on it. So 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 like I said, he has that that thing down there in Miami called Slam. It's uh, like I said, I think it's a sports academy with a, a sports management and all that. Mm-hmm. But these guys are these guys are smart nowadays. They're not they're not you know stupid anymore. Like that. these guys are educated because they grew up. They grew up, and he talks about the law of attraction a lot too. They grew up. With with uh, without, so it's like you know what I'm gonna make it accessible for everyone else, and he's a, he's a proponent. He doesn't have any shame about talking about it. You know, I used to, at first I used to be shy about talking about it and things like that. But it's like man, you know what? People are gonna talk cr- trash anyway. Right. People are gonna say some of what is what is he on now? He's always on something. But see, what people fail to realize is that when you're a true entrepreneur, you're gonna go from thing to thing to thing until you find the right thing. Because like then all the while you're going through these projects and you're going through these these businesses you're forming mm-hmm. and they're not as successful as you like them to be, you're preparing yourself for something that's coming down the road that's coming towards you. So I tell people all the time on the group page that even if you're working 15 minutes a day on one of your goals, if you're just doing five minutes a day on your goal, 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day going towards that goal, that goal is getting close, that, that, that gap is getting closer and closer to you meeting up with the perfect situation, the person, the circumstance, the means. Yeah. It's all coming to you. Mark, I use the first, uh, I, I was four years old when I used the law of attraction. Wow. Now, let me tell you how it happened. My grandmother uh, worked for, uh, she was, you know, uh, a, a cleaning lady, mm-hmm, okay? Mm-hmm. And so uh, she had promised that she was going to take me to the movie. Yeah. And this was in Greenville, Mississippi. So we went to the movie, and uh, I can just, uh, it, it, during, during m- movies had half times in, I yeah. don't know what they call them, intermission. Intermission, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, during intermission, they would come out and, uh, 
you would have your ticket stub, yeah. and then they would they would draw your you know, and and it was this big bag of popcorn. Mm-hmm. I think they had about like about four or five things up there, but I had told my grandmother, I'm winning that popcorn. Wow. I'm winning that popcorn. Wow. And she just ignored me, but I, I you, listen. Let me tell you what she did though, because the popcorn the bag was so big, she made me carry that bag. <laughs> Back home, yeah. Okay, so if so walking to the movie, that was a long way. Yeah, yeah. But she made me carry that bag yeah. of popcorn back home. But it was so, it was so rewarding yeah. for them to call my number. Yeah. And I go up to the stage to get that bag of popcorn. Wow. That's right. That's that's what I remember about, for me. Yeah. yeah. The, f- the law of attraction. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. I just like. I'm winning that, yeah, and I did. You did. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's because all your energy went towards it. All your energy, your focus, and you, obviously you love popcorn, so that's what it was. You know, yeah. see, think of saying, you know, and and we're gonna talk about this a little bit later on the show about journaling and when you write things down. When you're writing things down that you want, that's directed energy, especially if you're writing something down that you love. You know, wow. When I was in the military, I used to when I was studying for uh, our advancement exams. It's called an advancement exams. You had to take a, a test. I mean, it was like three hundred question, multiple choice. But it wasn't those multiple choice that you you had to know. You had to do research and find. You had to study about this stuff because it was mm-hmm. all about medical. It was every part of the medical field. And I only worked in a certain section of medical with the section I working at surgery. I only okay. knew surgery part. Okay. You had to know about. We had to learn about pharmacy. We had to learn about uh, evacuating patients from the battlefield. All that stuff. So what I would do. When I would study for the advancement, I would start studying like six months out. Mm-hmm. I would study, and I would have an image of the car I wanted at the time. Back of the car you wanted? Of the car I wanted. It was a, it was a Nissan Maxima. Oh, yeah. Man, had I had that, one of them. Yeah, had that car out there. Every time I would study, I'd put the car out, and i study. You know, on my breaks, i just look at the car and just imagine myself driving the car. Okay. All those things. See, mm-hmm. that's what people got to do. You got to totally immerse yourself, and that's where the energy and the focus comes in, see? And then the love is already there because you love that car. That's, right. already, that's already there. So you just got to do the time and put the focus and energy into it. And then before you know it, you're going to have your hands wrapped around the steering wheel. Wow. You, know, you went pushing that button to start that car. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. You know? in, in my in my uh, my senior year, you know, you have your senior your senior books. Mm-hmm. What do you call those books? Yearbooks? Not the yearbook. Yeah, okay. Um, it's, it's it's the book that you use where you let people sign in. Yeah. Sign, sign. Wait, anyway. Uh, right. Um, so so you would take the book and then you would dress it up. You would put your little, you know, all the things that you, your awards. Yeah. And, you know, you, you you'd get people to sign your book. Hey, uh, yeah. hey. Back then, my name was Little Hick. Little Hick. Uh, <laughs> good luck in your career. Yada yada yada. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things that I did was I put uh, a picture of uh, a cut me out. I cut me out. You know, I'm standing leaning on the car like this. The uh-huh. car is a brown. Uh, Rolls Royce drop top, yeah, nice. drop top uh-huh. Rolls Royce. Uh-huh. So, um, I see me uh-huh. having that yeah. vehicle. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, you are I, without a doubt. Yeah, it's already yours. Yes, it it's, is. It's already yours. See, and and, and, and we're going to talk about energy and frequency and all this. We already talked about energy. Earlier. We're going to talk about frequency as well. See, now here's the thing with people. When I tell people and I coach people on on uh, tracking the things in their life. You have to be on the same energy and the same frequency as that vehicle. See, everything vibrates. Every single thing vibrates. This stuff may look solid, but right. it has a vibe to it. It's called a vibrational rate. Everything on this planet vibrates. Wow. So the car vibrates. We vibrate. Is Esteban vibrating Esteban right now? Esteban's vibrating right now. You know? <laughs> I wonder why I was thinking <laughs> of it. Hold on. The, the water bottles. <laughs> everything has mass. Everything has, has, everything is made. Like I said, everything that you see in front of you, everything you touch, see and feel around you is made mm-hmm. from water, love, and energy. Okay, so so when you say vibrate, mm-hmm. uh, I think about the uh, the uh, you, you say it's a vibrational pattern. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it it's a it's a um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, where you can uh, it's not it's like megahertz. What's that word? Frequency hertz. Frequency. Yeah, frequency. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah. so so th- there are different frequencies different frequency. that w- uh, that. You want to explain the, the the way the frequencies work? 
Right. Okay. So the frequencies there's seven there's there's several frequencies that you can you can listen to. Right. And they they call sofagio tones. Yes. Sofagio tones are one of them. Frequencies and all that. You have different numbers: seven forty one, three fifteen, and the list goes on and on. I'm, I'm, as a matter of fact, let's pull them up here and we can talk. Okay. About yeah. Yeah. Right. So I was thinking about like four twenty. Four twenty. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so. Um, like sometimes late at night, I will I will try and find me a frequency that's soothing enough oh, yeah. for me to oh, yeah, yeah. you know that's, sleep on. That's another thing too. Yeah, people, you do your frequencies. Um, here we go. Here we go. You got to listen to frequencies because it's, again, it's all vibration. It's it all is. vibration. It's all sound. And it, you know, even when you're dealing with the chakras. Okay, so you got uh, you got. 396. 396. 417. 417. 528. 528. That's a good one right there. Because 528. That's, yeah, yeah, it is. That's, that's transformation and the miracles and DNA repair, too. See? Okay. D okay. D if, 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 see, another thing about these people watching television and, and listening to all this crap on the radio, man, that's programming. See, It is. They, they're putting, you don't see the subliminal messages, but they're putting it. And I'm not some tinfoil hat guy running around talking about aliens around this and other. Mm -hmm. You know, this universe is too vast for you not to, for there not to be anything else out there. If you're, you're a complete, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not please forgive me for saying this, but if you, or if you think you were the only one on this planet, you're wrong. On this planet, I'm not a planet. The universe, you know, because the universe is too vast yeah. for there not to be anything else. I mean, we're not, surely we cannot be the most evolved. No. I'm just putting it out there. You know, I'm not saying they're little green guys with three fingers and big eyes. I mean, whatever it is. I'm from the planet Zamunda. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's straight from Eddie straight, Murphy. Straight from Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Another law of attraction follow. People don't realize that either. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, 528, 639, 741, um, 852. Those are some of them right there. The right. Seven, I'm telling you right now, 741. Uh -huh. I can see you one of those. 741 is mean, dude. Let me tell you. That's, well, what that's, does it do? That's that's the awakening. That's the Kundalini portion of it. Oh, you've heard you've heard. Of I've heard of Kundalini, yeah, Kundalini. Kundalini. but you got to be careful with Kundalini because if you're not if you're not careful, it can really do some damage to you. If you're not yeah. ready for if it, if you're not ready for it, so you got to be ready. That's why that's why people that's why it's imperative that you you meditate every single day. every day every day. You got to meditate. You got to prayer and meditation is the same thing. Yeah, you just got to quiet the body, quiet the mind. Focus on what you want, mm -hmm. and you just gotta just just let it go. I mean, if, and when I first started meditating, and one of the guests I'm gonna have on also, he brought me into uh, meditation. His name okay. is Jeremy Williams. You're gonna see meet him personally. Okay. He got me into meditation because he was big into he's Buddhism. He's a Buddhist. Okay. So he's big into that, and um, so he got me. He had a retreat one uh, weekend, and I, I went because at the time I was like, man, I just gotta do something different. What I'm mm -hmm. doing, I'm mean, you know going to work every day, going out at the time chasing chasing women. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a single guy at the time. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So you know, it, you know, had a, had girlfriends and things like that. You know, one fulfilled. You know what I mean? And I said, I just gotta do something better. So right. Jeremy said, Hey, man, I'm gonna have this retreat, this weekend retreat. You know, you do be there during the day. You go home at night, and we come back the next three days. I'm like, Great, let me do it. Okay. So he got me into meditation and all that stuff, man. And and is and he I, local? Yeah, he's local. Yeah, he's okay. local. Yeah. Uh, and that I credit that a lot too. And then of course the, the journey started with the secret reading the uh, reading the book, reading the book and book. then watching the movie as well. Um, and then out of that, I mean, those people were great. And then, of course, the stuff came out about her in the, in the end. But it is what it is, you know. Yeah. They, whatever it is. We don't care about that. We don't care about that. Yeah, it's we, the message the we message want. The message we want. Mm -hmm. and, and the message we're going to glean all the information we can out of that message, out of, out of the stuff, so we can make our lives better, mm -hmm. so that we can impact other people's lives and make their lives better. See, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, when everything, when everybody's eating and everything, everyone has enough of everything, there's less, less bullshit. Absolutely. That's bullshit. That's yeah. bull crap. You know, yeah. that's all. It's all that. So that's what it's all about. Like what you got going on here. This is a great facility. They never knew it existed until I got the professor. Wow. And I was like, wow. man, where have you know? And like you said, you said you have been you have been praying for a, a guest like me to be on the show, and, and I show up. Absolutely. You, Absolutely. We knew nothing about each other until after that that meeting that first. When I when I man. saw it, I was like, oh man, this brother. <laughs> you know, look. It, uh, also, uh, there's one other show I, I wanted a I, I want a cryptocurrency show, oh, yeah. a forex show. You okay. know, I, I want okay. something like that. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm literally in talks right now with a young lady out yeah. of Jacksonville who, yeah. you know, it wants to do it. So, man, I'm telling um, you, crypto is where it's at. Law of attraction. I'm telling you, law of yeah. attraction. And, and, and she fell right into, yeah. you know, she came yeah. on somebody's show. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, Andre, Andre, uh, uh, and Tatiana. Uh, uh -huh. Straight talk. She came on to straight talk. Okay. And she started talking. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Oh, here she is. Yeah, yeah. She can do it. Yeah, she can do it. Yeah. So um, yeah. I, I just believe that uh, 
in touch in touch news is is designed to bring uh you uh the public uh something new something fresh something that's going to help your life something that's going to help you to evolve into a better you yeah. And having Mark Cosby uh, with his show, Living the Law of Attraction, I believe that you're going to receive what it is that he delivers. And speaking of delivery, we're going to deliver a 15, a, a two-minute break to you. We'll be back in two minutes. You're listening to In Touch Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone is a star. I'm DJ CEO, and this is Mark Cosby. You're listening to Living the Law of Attraction. In Touch Radio. In Touch Radio. In Touch Radio. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures Scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. creators welcome back to the show living the law of attraction with mark cosby um the ceo mr johnson stepped out to handle some uh business you know this type of this line of work um you're always busy nothing nothing is never sitting still it's all dynamic and you always have to run around and do things because when you're the ceo of a corporation you have to be the one to put the fires out uh, <laughs> so um, you know, when he gets well, until he gets back, let's talk about some things that uh, we're going to talk about on some of the other shows coming up. We, we're going to have a show dedicated to uh, children in the law of attraction, and um, not you know not little little kids. But if you recall um, early in the show, Daryl mentioned that he used the law of attraction at four years of age, and he didn't really know what it was at the time, but now he knows, and so. We're going to cover something like that. Oh, there he is right there now. And the CEO is back, ladies and gentlemen. So, hey, so yeah. I, I heard you talking about my, you know, uh, what made me go back to that time was I, 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 I had been listening to Neville Goddard, mm -hmm. and um, I, I, I realized that, wow, Daryl, you used the law of attraction back then. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. and even throughout my, my life, when I was 16 years old, uh, my friend and I, we were riding bicycles. You know, we, uh, we heard this. This this constant boom. It was just constant. We're like, man, yeah. what's going on? Yeah, yeah. So we we got on our bicycles and we rode to the sound. Yeah. And the sound was construction workers pounding in the concrete stakes yeah. of the new postal facility that they were building. Wow. It was like, wow. So, you know, every 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 day, man, we would get on our bicycles and ride up there. You know, we'd we'd wait till all the construction workers left and then we'd be riding around in the in the uh, in the in the big facility. Yeah. Hey, 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 <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You know, just playing like kids yeah. do. But I told my friend, I said, I am going to work here. Wow. I am going to work right here. Sixteen. So I graduated high school at seventeen. Uh -huh. Um senior class president. Uh, I had there to you go. Give, get, pat myself on it the back. It was over then. It was <laughs> Look, over then, I'm ladies and gentlemen. But, but um, uh, they, they, they offered the postal exam uh, when I graduated from high school. And 
uh, to to the city now. So five thousand people took that test. Wow. For two hundred jobs. Wow. I was one of the two hundred. Wow. Do you hear me? Wow. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, proof, sir. Proof of the law of attraction and words are power. You they know, are. I, I put out another message to the group, a Carbon Fiber Mindset group, a couple of days ago. Like I said, all the framework is done for you. The beautiful planet, the air, the water, the food is already here for you. You just have to monitor three things, your words, your thoughts, and your actions. If you can master those three things, your words, your thoughts, and your actions, there is nothing on this planet you cannot have. I'm here to tell you. This stuff is real. There's been things that happened since I've been on this journey for me that I can't even explain how to happen. It's just like, wow, where did that come from? And right. It, I mean, it happens. I mean, the phone ringing, hey, you know, you want to go out to lunch. I got to talk to you about something. And then you go to the lunch with the person, and then there's this this big deal, this great deal. that you. It's like, oh, so thank you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You just have yeah. to be thankful and grateful. You have to have a heart. And you have an attitude and a mind of gratitude and be thankful for everything. Last night, before I went to sleep, man, I was just thinking about this opportunity and being able to talk about this on the show and share knowledge with you and learn stuff about you. Mm-hmm. That I was, I went to bed just saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. And I do that every night. And upon waking up in the morning, the first thing I do is I give thanks. I say my prayers. And I immediately go into meditating and just mapping out my day and how my day, how I want my day to go. So then when things don't go the way you want it to go, mm-hmm. and it hits you, just hits you and slide right off. Right off. Just like, yeah, okay, whatever. Keep yeah, it moving. Yeah, you know, yeah. I know my purpose, and I know my goals and dreams are bigger than what's going on right now. So mm-hmm. Like you said at the, at the, at the, and, uh, off, the off the record here, uh, a strong, positive mind has no known enemy. A strong, positive mind has no known enemy. Why do you say that? Because when you develop on your journey, when you de- develop the mindset, the positive mindset, the, 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 the carbon fiber mindset, when you develop that mindset, because carbon fiber is one of the strongest man-made materials on this planet. You know, okay. Man-made and natural made, carbon-based, you know, and it takes, it's, it's a lattice work. Of, for people you don't know what carbon fiber is, look up carbon fiber and look at the detail and what's this, this, uh, this product and what this, this material is. It's the strongest material uh, on, on the strongest materials on the planet. Okay. Uh, get, we're able to do it. And they're incorporating the new airplanes now. The new, okay. Uh, not the new one that's crashing. The new uh, Dreamliner, the 777 seven, seven Dreamliner. Okay. They're replacing now um, metal parts with carbon fiber because it's, it's proven to be stronger and more resistant than, than uh, the, the, the uh, metal that they're using now, making the airplane wow. lighter and things like okay. that. Okay. And seeing this information age we're in now, this post industrial age we're in now, a lot of the stuff is going to start changing when it comes to that. The mm-hmm. carbon fiber is going to be using all that. So, you know, when you look at things like carbon fiber and you look at how tough and how strong it is, that's you equate that to the mind. Your well, how do you um, how do you how do you uh, um, how do you develop carbon fiber? Carbon fiber is a process where they they take a lattice work of some uh, material okay. and they, they they spray the carbon uh, fiber the carbon elements on it. Okay, and then it's weaved. Together. So, so, because so, <clears throat> when you say carbon fiber, mm-hmm. the first thing I think about is coal. 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 So, okay. it, it, well, it's carbon based. Coal is carbon based as well. So, so I, I, that's why I'm, I'm asking. How do you? How is this thing developed? Because well, you know, I'm thinking about well, maybe, maybe coal ain't dead. Maybe <laughs> Trump got something that we don't. Maybe he really knows what the heck we're talking about. Coal. We need to be trying to research. Uh, uh, Coal is, is going to be around. It's going to be around? It's, we got tons of it. It's, it's, it's okay, yeah. okay. Uh, now, you know, I'm, I'm, go ahead, keep yeah. talking, because I'm getting ready to look up yeah, carbon look, look fiber. Up, look up carbon fiber, and I implore each of you to look up carbon fiber as well and look at the process, how it's made, and then you look at the tensile strength of it, and you got to have that mindset. You got to have that strong mindset that anything that comes your way, you got to be able to deal with it and know this is not the end. This is not the, the, the what's going to keep you down. You have got to keep your mindset positive and strong at all times. Is your man. wedding band carbon fiber? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Carbon fiber. Yeah. So that's a bond. See the bond, the bond that's on is carbon fiber, and I liken that to the bond I have with my wife and I. You know, it's a strong bond. You no, know, they always say people always say behind every every great man is a, is a, a smart woman. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, behind beside every beside great, beside yeah. every great man is, yeah. a, is a, an even smarter woman. I used to say. So so here it is. It says carbon fibers are fibers about five to ten micrometers in diameter and composed mostly of carbon atoms. Yep. Carbon fibers have several advantages, including high stiffness, high tensile strength, low weight, high chemical resistance, high temperature tolerance, yep. and low thermal expansion. 
Okay. Because you know he, metal heats and expands as it, it heats and it cools, it, it shrinks and expands. Okay. So okay. that you don't have that with carbon fiber. That's why it's able. To, like I said, that's why it's flying in the newest airplanes now. And the airplane, I think I looked at a documentary a couple of uh, weeks ago, and the airplane mm-hmm. is now like thirty percent lighter than the previous seven seven seven. Okay. So what that means, that equates to more fuel economy. Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. And so, they even got a little video on how to make your own yeah. carbon fiber. Okay. Crazy, isn't it? All right. Crazy. All right. Now I got so, it. So we're in a post-industrial era, the post-industrial age. And, you know, you, you spoke of coal and things like that. And there's, that's, you know, everything is going electric now. So what people need to start also researching is lithium. Lithium ion. Lithium, lithium ion. Yeah, batteries. The batteries, yeah. Yeah. There, there's going to be a lot of car manufacturers coming online that's going to be using lithium in regards to now Elon Musk is not the only show in town anymore with Tesla. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got you got Audi's into the uh, electric car now. Okay. I think Volvo said that they now they're gonna stop making gas and engine engines all together. They're gonna be totally electric by I think like twenty twenty one. So every car coming off their assembly line is gonna be electric. It's, so so you may want to be a battery ma- battery manufacturer. Exactly. Something or even just start investing in lithium. Yeah. Start okay. In, yeah, start investing, investing in lithium and things like that. Okay. So let's talk about, I know we don't have much time left, but let's talk about a real important thing on this journey in the law of attraction, and okay. it is journaling. Journaling. You know, get yourself people, and a lot of people, you've heard this before, and, you know, like Daryl and I talked at the, at the break, I got to get better at, at journaling and things like that because a lot of times when you're on this journey, these messages are going to come to you in the form of dreams. Yeah. They're going to come to you in the form of, 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 of uh, passing by conversations, or you can be at the traffic light, and you may just hear a certain word, and you're like, wow, where did that come from? Right. We have to be in tune. Like I said, and when you're on this journey to fall in the law of attraction, you're, you're going to become more in tune with your surroundings and maybe to listen to things and to see things and to find things because you have to open your heart and your mind. So you have to have an open mind to be able to deal with this, to comprehend this. You have to help open your heart to receive it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Catherine Ponder is a, a, another uh, a law of attraction pro, uh, practitioner. Mm-hmm. The, book her, uh, the book she wrote is called Open, Opening Your Heart to Receive um, the Blessings. Okay. So Catherine Ponder, look her up. So you have to open your mind. You have to open your heart. You have to be open to everything. Because you, you're constantly getting signals and, and messages from the universe, from God. Yeah. So it's because we receive, we're antennas. We receive and send messages. Yes. How many times have you been thinking about somebody and all of a sudden, your phone rings. All the time. All the time. All the all time. All the time. You know, I remember one one day a couple of weeks ago, um, um, I was going out to get some food, and my wife was coming in. I didn't tell her where I was going. Mm-hmm. I came back home. She's like, oh, my gosh. She said, I was thinking about this food all day, and I right. went to go get the food. Right, right, right. It's amazing, right. man. It's yeah. amazing. And so journaling, when you're journaling, you want to write the things down because, again, when you write things down, writing it down is directed energy. Yes. Right, writing things down is a direct energy. You know, like I said, the things that you want to see in your life, you want to write them down here. You want to okay. write them down. Okay. You really I, s- I see you using your, you, you, oh, yeah. okay, you're doing your yeah. thing. Yeah, look at today. Good day. Great day today. Okay, Today brother. marks the beginning. Yes. All right. So this this is, the, and I, I, that was in there, that was in there, this first thing I got this morning. Okay. Got to put down my and, and, and you know, I've I've gotten uh, uh, my daughters have gotten me journals, and you know, I got bought journals myself, and they all got white pages on them. I've got a, uh, one or two that's got maybe one or two pages of stuff I've written. Yeah. But, you know, trying to be consistent in that uh, will help me. It will. And and I know that it, it will. will. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> because one thing for sure, I am getting more. Uh, um, I'm getting more clarity in my dreams. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I'm seeing more. Yeah. I, I, I feel a lot more uh, comfortable with mm-hmm. with uh, uh, at, at least attempt, attempting to a, uh, access my p- pineal gland. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting closer at yeah. at 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 me. Yeah. I, I'm to getting the true you. The yep. true yes. The true you, I am. you know the, the true you is is there. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. That, you know, and we're going to talk about how to de- decalcify the pineal gland and okay. things of that nature. We're going to talk about the foods you eat. Like I said, the 10 foods you put in your body every day, we're going to talk about that. All right. Because it's all about it's stripping down. You, you Basically, your diet is going to change. You know, you're not going to need and uh, need things, and that's going to be it. So, is that hey, the end of the show? That, 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 you, 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 this is it, my brother. Okay, all right. I hate to, I hate to, I hate to do this wrapping up, but before <laughs> we leave, I got to leave everyone with the mantra and the, an affirmation or declaration. Here it is. And write it down. The more I give, the more I receive. The more I receive, the more I give. The more I give, the more I receive. The more I receive, the more I give. You follow that precept, people, and you'll never be without. All right, it's Mark Cosby signing off. Thank you for joining our inaugural show, Living the Law of Attraction with Mark Cosby. Daryl Johnson, CEO, thank you so much. My pleasure. Right.